Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. A new law in Pennsylvania is aimed at protecting patients getting surgery. It passed the House and the Senate unanimously last week. Sonica Barco is here to tell us what's got so much bipartisan support. Sonica. Alicia, Valerie, the law requires healthcare providers to get consent from patients before having students perform pelvic exams while those patients are under anesthesia. Work on this started years ago when a Philadelphia County woman approached her state lawmaker worried this had happened to her. I was completely floored. Days after surgery, Karen Sofer heard something on the radio that shocked her. One of the stories was about these unauthorized pelvic exams. Pelvic exams performed while a patient was under anesthesia to teach medical students without patient's consent. The thought occurred to me that this could have happened to me. Sofer says she knew medical students were present during her surgery, but she couldn't find out whether a pelvic exam was performed. I felt very violated. The lack of concern from my surgeon and the nonchalance, nonchalance with which they responded got me very angry. Sofer went to her state lawmaker, Philadelphia Democrat Elizabeth Fiedler. Patients need to feel confident and safe when they're talking to their doctor. Fiedler started working on a bill. Four years later, it's become law, passing unanimously. This is an obvious piece of legislation. We have to make it happen. Under the law, healthcare professionals have to get consent before having medical students perform pelvic, rectal, or prostate exams on unconscious patients. Penn State College of Medicine says this doesn't affect its policy. Students don't conduct these exams on patients under anesthesia. Instead, patients volunteer to teach students. In a statement, a spokesperson said, quote, Penn State College of Medicine believes that every patient should consent before any procedures are performed. I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief. Their bodily autonomy, their rights as a patient will be respected in this way. I also reached out to UPMC, which also teaches medical students. A spokesperson told me, quote, we do not and have never done these medical exams on our patients. In the studio, Sonica Fargo, Alicia, back to you. Wow, Sonica, thanks very much.